Hi, this is Chris Doretta, VP of Sales Engineering here at Conate. Today we're going to take you on a tour of our new product release. We're going to show you the workflow and the new features that we've added. For our demonstration today, we're going to take a look at Travelocity.com, a very dynamic site, a site that requires inputs in order to generate the required content, a site that uses lots of JavaScript and Ajax in order for the user to navigate. We're going to take a look at hotel reservations, inputting different starting and ending dates, inputting different locations. The Connotate Studio and the agent that we create will completely automate the interaction with the website. So if we do a search on New York, New York for certain dates, we can completely automate the interaction that the agent has with the website and extract the relevant information, the names of hotels, the prices that are being charged, the user ratings, the locations of the hotels, the phone numbers. This information can be used for a variety of purposes. Everything from competitive intelligence to sizing the market to taking a look at how Travelocity itself is doing. What we're going to generate is an output that we see coming up on our screen right now where we're extracting the different cities that have been submitted, the different check-in and check-out dates, the names of the hotels, the overall rates, the status of the hotel, whether it actually has rooms available or not. To start off with, we are going to log in to the Agent Studio. And once the studio is open, we're going to navigate directly to the Travelocity website. Again, it's a very dynamic site. And one of the reasons we can handle dynamic sites of this nature is because we have our own custom browser based in WebKit built right into the product. Now, what that means is that it sits between you, the user, and the source website. And it interprets and includes any interaction that you have, including things like loading JavaScript including Ajax on the website. All of that is incorporated. We're going to take a look at the hotels. Now the Connotate interface itself is very easy to use. Uh, it's been designed for non-technical end users. It's very clear, it's very concise. And any interaction that we have with the website, the agent can automate. So if we do a query for New York, New York, I can say to the agent with a simple right click on the page, to automate this information. If I'd like to track tens or hundreds or thousands of hotels on the Travelocity website, I would literally have to come in to the web interface for Travelocity and type in New York, New York, or if I'd like to look at Los Angeles or Chicago, I'd have to type in Los Angeles or Chicago and then hit the search button. Correspondingly to those location searches, I would also have to put in dates. So I'd have to say, let's check in on this date and check out on this date. So as an end user, you would literally have to manually go through all these search combinations, location, check-in date, and check-out date. What we can do with the agent is actually expose these search combinations so that later on in the product, we can actually point the agent at, let's say, a database table that has all kinds of locations ready to go and to be fed into the agent. Uh, or that database table may also have ranges of check-in dates and check-out dates so that the agent is actually automating uh, not only in the interaction that a human would uh, with the website at a very high scale, but it also is making that one particular agent extremely dynamic. And the way we do this, the way we set up the capability of the agent to feed these different search terms in, is by simply right-clicking on the field on the page and saying to the agent, look, I'd like to treat the Find Hotels Near box as something that I'm going to call search. And I'd like to treat the check-in date as something that I'm going to call check-in date. So that when the end user sets up this agent later on in the process, they can feed in those different combinations of check-in date and check-out date and location. All of that can be set up exactly as I've done with Travelocity, including things like form submissions. So I can actually right-click on the pull-down here where we specify how many adults are going to be checking into the hotel and treat that as a parameter or as an input to the website so that when I run my agent later on, if there may be pricing differentials based on the number of adults checking in, I can actually automate that interaction as well alongside and combined with the searches for uh, hotel locations and check-in and check-out dates.
And now I can actually train the agent to extract the data from the web page. And not just the landing page data. We can train the agent to follow hyperlinks for more detail. We can train the agent to follow next links for continuing page results. All of that is within our reach. Now, one of the things that the Agent Studio allows you to do is to use pre-existing schema labels, if you will, for identifying the content, or you can very easily create schema on the fly. It's really as simple as just pointing and clicking on the screen and providing labels. And this is actually a new feature in Connotate. Okay, so we're going to train the agent to get the hotel price. It takes a look at my input. It evaluates my input against hundreds of attributes visually in the web page. These are our patented algorithms at work. They are learning for me how to make sense of this page. They're looking at what I identify. They're looking at what I tell the agent to specifically ignore. And every interaction informs the agent as to how it should extract the content. And these interactions result in a very stable, very reliable, robust rule. So reliable that if what we consider minor layout and format changes occur, the format of the currency changes, the format of the location changes, the layout moves a few pixels here and there. None of that is going to make a difference to the agent. Whereas if you're using a script-based approach or an approach that relies upon tearing apart the underlying source code, all of those rely on very specific XY coordinates. They rely on very specific HTML tags being present. They rely on the content itself adhering to a very, very discrete format. If it doesn't, they're going to be out of luck. They're going to have to re-script. They're going to have to use engineering resources to reinvent the wheel every time the site goes through any sort of change. And we can see, after a few point and clicks here, that the agent has gained the knowledge it needs from me in order to make sense of this page. Now, not only can we extract information from the page, but we can also very quickly and in a straightforward fashion tell the agent to transform the content. For instance, we are extracting a location from the page. We might want to separate out the city from the actual neighborhood that we're seeing. What I can do is invoke a transformation rule. And within that rule, I can add a new blank schema element. In this case, we'll use the label neighborhood. And all I have to do is right click on the location and say to the agent, let's split that up. And let's split that up based on the presence in this case of an open parenthesis. I click the apply button and the information is immediately mapped out to its new fields. Now you'll notice there is a parenthesis at the end of the string. We can again very easily parse that off as well. So I can right click and say to the agent, let's just look for that last parenthesis and get rid of it. So we're left with a nice clean representation of the neighborhood. You'll have noticed when I went into the right click menu, there are all kinds of transformations that we can bring to bear. Adding page ranks to the content. Let's say that for this certain application, we've got an analyst who needs to know or wants to know which hotel chains are showing up higher in the search results in Travelocity. Very easy for me to do. I can add an empty label called rank, and I can simply say to the agent, let's add a rank to each record as it appears on the web page. You can see now we have rank number one, rank number two. We can also parse names. We can parse addresses into their constituent elements with a very high degree of accuracy. That is the end of today's demonstration. I am Chris Geretta, VP of Sales Engineering here at Connotate.